True Lies is a standard bearing action comedy film written and directed by James Cameron, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Jamie Lee Curtis. If you haven't seen it, stop what you're doing and watch True Lies. If for some reason you haven't heard of True Lies, but you're watching the show on CBS, God help you. So it seems like every once in a while you're you're getting these notions kicked about that no, oh, we're gonna do something with True Lies. Tom Arnold's always been asking for a sequel. He has nothing else to do. But it comes about in some kind of series form. This isn't the first show to try to do this. Only this is the first one presented as True Lies and using the character names from the film. We have a new Harry Tasker, not Arnold Schwarzenegger, now it's this guy, Steve Howey, who I'm unfamiliar with, but tellingly enough, his ex-wife's show has a new season with a curious release date. So Harry Tasker works for the Omega Sector, a counter-terrorist intelligence agency. He now is accompanied by a team, and it's just one guy in the van, and now we have a bunch of teams going in and doing these tasks. And that's always this way with shows lately. Have you noticed this? If we want to increase the diversity, we have to add cast members. So it's not just enough for Magnum to do everything or for MacGyver to do everything in MacGyver. We have to have a team. And to be completely honest, this is probably the only way we can have Harry Tasker remain a white male. I like Omar Benson as the new Gib, but uh, the other two, they're new characters that are vanilla as hell, and I really, I hope they die. And this take on True Lies has some off-screen kind of violence. People get shot. It's not gruesome. But you know, once we wrap that up, we have to head back home, and Harry has to live that double life. See, his wife Helen, now played by Ginger Gonzaga, believes that Harry is a boring salesman and she wants excitement, you know, driving a minivan fast. They have two kids. There's the Dana character from the original movie, but now they also have a son. But sensing that there are marriage woes, Harry decides to take Helen with him on the next operation. She believes it's a vacation in Paris. But his cover is blown, there's mayhem, and what do you know, she learns he is the spy. And so by speeding forward with Helen learning that she's not married to some boring salesman, I think we have missed out on a good chunk of the fun that was in the movie. See, part of the fun in True Lies is having Having Harry having to keep this identity a secret while Helen entertains an affair with a guy purporting to offer that excitement. Which gets Harry to abuse his powers, run surveillance on his wife, and even give her a flirtatious mission. But CBS's True Lies wants to get to the end point of the film as quickly as possible. Now, I guess serving as that sort of sequel. Hey, wouldn't it have been cool to see Helen and Harry work together in future missions? Well, while these movies never saw the light of day, I guess that's what we'll kind of be getting a taste of through the course of this show. Granted, while looking like a broadcast television show in 2023. You know, jarring music just playing through scenes because I guess writing things out was complicated. Questionable effects and stunt work. But hey, we're able to get those callbacks of the film. You know, give me your hand on the helicopter. Helen has to dance in lingerie and fall down because it happened in the movie. Snow globes. Completely untrained, Helen is already stepping on the toes of Harry, who in this version is not proficient outside of English. In the closing coming this season, we see that she's going to have acrobatic capabilities, and we know she's already handled herself way too well for yoga to be the reasoning. And though this is the most mid 5 out of 10 type show you can imagine, what really piques my interest is seeing Tom Arnold return. Is he reprising his role as Gib? Because these are names, these aren't like your call sign. He's Harry. She's Helen. She didn't become Helen when she becomes an agent. The show has a gib. Can it survive another gib? It's weird for me to utter the phrase that I didn't find True Lies particularly good because now I am talking about a highly mitigated TV show that almost certainly would have been better served on a streaming platform with zanier comedy and more outlandish stunts. I mean, we introduced this neighbor who's the crazy cat lady. Wouldn't have been cool if we got to see her throw cats at people like the Simpsons character, but we didn't get that. Instead, we got a show that exists exist to fill a time slot. A time slot which I think will be available come season two. Hey, it's Vaughn's mom again, so I just wanted to remind you that instead of buying Vaughn's weird pictures online in various states of undress, you can just bookmark his Amazon affiliate link, and then when you shop throw it on Amazon, he gets a few pennies here and there.